Since getting engaged this past summer, I've been deep into wedding planning. And as a designer with a background in digital product design, graph design, and event planning, I've been having so much fun with it. After we locked in our invite list and secured our wedding venue, getting our wedding website up and running was top of the list for me so we could start sending out more information about the wedding to our guests, especially for those who would be traveling far to get to the wedding. And as a designer, I love designing websites and have a high bar of the design of websites I have a hand in creating. I found myself exploring the typical wedding website platforms like Zola and The Knot, and was quite taken back with how limiting they were from a design perspective. Sure, most people getting married are not designers or know how to create a website, so I can understand why their website builder is the way that it is, but I wanted something better, something I could put more of myself into, and something that I could be proud of to share with my friends and family. Within just a few hours, I explored various options from Zola, The Knot, and even building my own website before finally coming across a tech startup called Joy, which I think is doing wedding websites better than all the rest. In this video, I want to walk you through the various options of wedding websites I explored, as well as why I think Joy came out so clearly on top compared to all the rest. Let's jump into it. Let's start with Zola. Once you make an account with Zola, they drop you into the choose your design page, which has hundreds of wedding website templates to choose from. You can sort by color, which is sort of interesting, but as a designer, I'm sort of not looking for a template. I kind of just wanted something simple that I could go off of and then try to design myself. Once you select a website template, you're dropped into the website builder and this is where I stopped. I don't know what I was expecting, but just not this. Like, I get it, most people don't know how to design websites, but this just sort of felt wrong. You type in content on the left and then it magically fills out on the right, but then you don't actually know where the content is gonna go until you start filling out said content. So then I learned the website template you choose actually dictates the typography and color system your site is designed around. And then functionally, all you can do is show or hide pages. And that's when I made the connection around why so many wedding websites look kind of all the same. So that was interesting, but I wanted to see if the other top wedding website contender had any more design flexibility. So I went to The Knot. And not, to my surprise, it was virtually the same. And because I just wanted something else, something that felt more like me, my mind then went towards looking into what it would take to build my own wedding website. And I've built many websites in my day. I'm currently most comfortable with Squarespace, so I looked into building a wedding website through their platform. And actually, if you browse their website templates, you'll see a whole category dedicated to weddings, which means I imagine many people probably consider Squarespace for their wedding website. And if you don't know much about Squarespace, what's great about their product is although you may start with a template, virtually the whole site is customizable from the topography to the color systems to how you navigate around it and you don't need to know how to code or even have a lot of technical knowledge really to figure it out. Two things came up while I was exploring this option. One, in order to publish a wedding website through Squarespace, I would have to pay for a subscription and then probably a website domain for anyone to be able to use it, which I didn't really want to do. Weddings these days are already so expensive and this just didn't seem like a necessary cost. Compare that with Zola and The Knot, which their whole thing is that you get a free website, which is cool. And at the same time, they're constantly trying to like upsell you on other products or features that they have for purchase. Okay, and two, since since Squarespace isn't really a wedding platform business, it wasn't clear to me how you would add a registry to the site. So I looked into the option of linking out to one. From what I remember, I looked into the Knots wedding registry and saw that their registry is directly tied into the wedding website that you would have to create with them. And that turned me off to the idea of trying to link out. I didn't want to wedding websites, that would be confusing. <laughs> I will say, since creating this video, I actually noticed that Zola does this way better, which I think is super smart of them to do to serve customers who don't want their wedding website and registry to be tied together. You can create a registry with them and create a unique link that brings people to just the registry. So in theory, you could build a Squarespace website and then just link out to the registry from there without any confusion. But back when I was doing my research, I did not go as far as to looking into Zola, so Instead, I found myself on Google trying to figure out some alternative options when I came across a new wedding website platform called Joy. And what actually struck me initially about Joy was their registry system. With Joy, you could expect zero fees for cash funds, whereas with the other platforms, they were taking a small percentage for the transaction, which sort of sucks, right? Cash funds are supposed to be a gift and you'd expect to collect all of the money gifted. But after that, what really drew me in was their website builder. I started to play around with it and although just like Zola and 
the knot. You start with a template. With Joy, you can customize your site's color theme and font stack and even get into the CSS if you'd like. And when it came to adding content, I just found the experience to be much better compared to the other sites that were doing it. With Joy, you're still adding content on the left and previewing it on the right, but I felt like I had a better sense of how it was going to display, and I just think overall the website design looks and works better as a functioning site. Ultimately, I felt like I could create a wedding website that felt more personal and unique. Overall, I found leveraging the Joy platform to be such a delight with planning our wedding, from their scheduling feature to guest lists, RSVP questions and the save the dates. I think they're doing something really special and unique compared to the other platforms and I like it. And that's how I chose to go with Joy for my wedding website platform. I'm super, super excited about it, like I said, and I cannot wait to keep planning our wedding around using Joy as a tool. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Alexa. I make videos here on YouTube about design, careers in tech, life in San Diego, where I just moved six months ago with my fiance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm considering making some more wedding design related videos. I'm in the market to buy a printer because I really sort of want to design all of our wedding invites from scratch. Maybe I'll make a video about that. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you're interested in more videos from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date when I post new videos. That is all for now though. Hope to see you next time. Bye.